Studio 33 AD Catholic Media. If someone asked me to name one gospel reading that illustrates life as a Catholic, this might be it. We are presented with two disciples of Jesus who are leaving Jerusalem and heading to Emmaus. As they walked, they were discussing the things that had occurred with Jesus leading up to the crucifixion. Suddenly, they were joined by a man they did not recognize who asked them what they're discussing. They stop, they look downcast, and then they ask him, probably somewhat incredulously, are you the only person on earth who doesn't know what happened to Jerusalem this week? The things that happened to Jesus? How our chief priests handed him over to be crucified? We were hoping that he was the one that was going to redeem Israel. Then the man proceeded to explain to them how scripture foretold what was to happen. And the day grew long and they asked him to join them for dinner. And at that dinner, that man, Jesus, took the bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them. And with that, their eyes were opened. Think about it. We have two disciples of Jesus. They knew Jesus. They knew what he looked like. They knew his teachings. But when things got crazy in Jerusalem, they lost that awareness. They lost that understanding. In fact, the gospel tells us that with all the chaos in Jerusalem, they lost hope. Recall the first part of their conversation. We were hoping he was going to be the one to redeem Israel. We're hoping, but after everything happened, they lost that hope. In fact, they were so lost that they didn't even recognize Jesus. He'd only been crucified three days earlier, but they couldn't see him. How often does that happen to all of us? We're all familiar with the teachings of Christ. We hear them every Sunday. And yet when life gets chaotic, when things get hectic, we lose our focus. We start to worry about other things and our awareness of those teachings recedes into the background. When life gets crazy, or when life is particularly hard, it can be scary and sometimes very easy to lose that awareness, to lose hope. Our vision becomes so focused on the world that it can be difficult to see Christ in our lives, even when he is walking right along beside us. So how do we avoid that distraction? How do we sharpen our focus, bring the teachings of Jesus our awareness of Jesus back into our everyday thoughts, back into focus. Just like the disciples on the road to Emmaus, we can do it by inviting Jesus into our lives and by witnessing the breaking of bread. The great thing is we don't have to set an alarm to remind ourselves. We don't just hope that we're going to remember. We can simply come to Mass, into the house of God, listen to the teachings of Jesus, and witness the breaking of bread. In a few moments, as act, exactly as Jesus did in the reading today, exactly as he did in Matthew chapter 26, exactly as it was recorded in Mark chapter 14, and in John chapter 6, exactly as it has been done ever since the Last Supper, a humble priest will break bread, bless it, and give it to us. Just like the disciples, we will witness Jesus Christ. And all that chaos, all that distraction, all that confusion, it can melt away if we just take a moment and realize what we are seeing. The result, like the disciples, our hearts will be filled with joy. But there's more. Recall, when the disciples lost focus, they also lost hope. But when they could see Jesus again, that hope was restored. And frankly, hope is one thing that this world desperately needs. We can become so upset about what is happening around us 
that we give up that hope. We let it slip away, which is crazy because it's one of the greatest gifts we have, and we often just let it slip away. So today, this morning, quiet your mind. Try to set aside your concerns with the chaos in the world around you. Quiet your heart and open your eyes. When Father breaks the bread, when Father blesses the cup, when he offers you the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, think about what you are witnessing, about the real presence of Jesus Christ right here with all of us. As you approach the altar, as you are on your own road to the altar, receive the body of Christ and let Christ open your eyes to his presence. You are sharing the same experience as the disciples at the Last Supper, the disciples on the road to Emmaus, the disciples in the upper room, and as disciples that have filled every Catholic church every day since then, right up until this very moment in time. Right here, right now, you are disciples. Open your eyes, bask in the joy that is Jesus Christ, and take back your hope. Will the chaos come back? Of course. Will it push your awareness of Christ back into the recesses of your memory? It might. Will it extinguish joy and hope? Absolutely not. Because tomorrow, next Sunday, or any day, you can return to Mass and again sit with God. Listen to the words of Jesus. Open your eyes and see Christ clearly again. Every day we are on the road to Emmaus, sometimes confused, lost, or downcast. But any day we attend Mass, we have the chance to have that vision restored, our joy restored, our hope restored. Thank you for gathering here today. Pray for those that can't be here. Quiet your minds, and as we begin the liturgy of the Eucharist, open your eyes and see. Studio 33 AD, Catholic Media.